Last night, you've got an earnest call by Scott's Miracle Grow. Why don't we watch this? If you fast forward that to 1 minute and 40, the CEO said, we know one thing, COVID has caused a lot more people to smoke pot. That is what Scott Miracles Grow said. That's why their earnings were growing higher. Take note that our um, company lead uh, lists that we have. So we have GW Pharma. It was up 40% last night, 212. Uh, you've got Grow Solutions. Yes, we've got this, an indoor farming play, 30% up. We got it since 14. So at 31, we are already like up more than 200%. Organigram, we've been buying this below $1.50. Some of us got in at about $1.30. So it's now trading at $2.40. So some of us are already hitting 100% on this. Now I know that Virgin Galactic Space is not weed. Take note that this is just me um, having like my watch lists and I kind of put weed and space together. Either way, um, space actually uh, was very strong. You could see that last night. Now you could clearly see Afria. Afria in Canada up 12%, Tilray 12%, Hexo up 12%. We've been bullish on Hexo since when? At about 58 cents, 60, 60 cents times four, that'll be $2.40. So we're actually up more than 300% uh, already on our Hexo. So, um, so yeah, we because uh, it's already at $8 last night. So we were buying uh, Hexo US, but also the same thing for Canada. So uh, I don't know if I shared it here. Breaking news, yeah. So there was an update that um, Chuck Schumer is leading the drive for reforms that may end the federal prohibition. So you've got these companies all benefiting. These are all actually uh, uh, cannabis names. Sundial is actually already up 100% uh, as well. We've bought it at about 60 cents. I think it's about $1.20 uh, already by now. Let me just take a look again. So we have been making a lot of money on the weed-related names. Sundial Growers, yes, up 16%. We've, we've been buying here about 16, 60 cents. So January 26, been buying here 59 cents. So you could see uh, clearly that there is value um, in, um, in purchasing a lot of weed names. And that value has been unlocked by the market uh, ever since we've initiated coverage on most of them. We're somewhere within up 100%, 200%, 300% already within the sector. So um, within the sector, I'll, ver I'll be very clear for you. Mm. Some people are asking, um, actually, some people are asking, are there other weed-related names that haven't rallied 100 to 200%? So let me show that to you very clearly. You go to investing.com. This is a very free account that I just, you know, uh, anyone can open. Then you make your own watch list. So example, for me, I, I like to do it in sector mode. So you could see that this is what? In a single day. And uh, sure, App Harvest got taken profits from, but that's nothing. 14% drop versus what? 200, 300% drop. All right, let's take a look at the performances of these um, companies. You've got Tilray year to date, 200% up. You've got Afria, 140% up. Uh, don't mind Virgin Galactic because this is not weed. Um, I should put this on my space play. Uh, I just need to put weed and space either way. All right. So we've got actually SSPK weed maps as well. A lot of SPACs as well on the weed. Um, I discuss a lot of that in my class on everything about SPACs in under an hour. I even gave it as a free Friday class. So you can just search it if this is your first time coming here to Awesome 10X. Try to search that um, title, everything you need to know about SPACs under an hour. So I talked about SPACs in general, special purpose acquisition companies, and I talked about theme-related SPACs. So there's like themes on SPACs, whether it be cannabis SPACs, fintech SPACs, um, or let's say renewable energy SPACs, sustainable energy SPACs, electric vehicle SPACs, and so forth. So you've got or distressed value SPACs. So there's really a lot of SPACs that you can actually purchase with your theme in mind. Now, um, for instance, for the theme of legalization of marijuana, there's an overarching secular trend there. Now, um, these have been your winners so far. It's very clear. Uh, sometimes I also put the hydro farm because it's not necessarily weed. But as you could see, AgriFi, hydro farm, and grow generation are helping support enabling all the people who are doing planting. So it doesn't matter if you're planting weed or planting tomatoes and crops. So it's kind of the same. Phase one, usually uh, people indoor farming, the phase one plants are the leafy green vegetables. That's the easiest to plant indoors because they need uh, less, uh, say, staple root crops or even strawberries. 
but it tells you that we are really um, um, the sustainability of our food production is an important need as important as climate change so it's very important for anyone here who's watching to actually significantly own some uh, some of your portfolio stakes in some of these companies that address that food production, whether it be farm equipment robots such as this one, Raven and the uh, DE example. I just wanted to show to you a few companies in the farm-related segment. This is a $1 billion market cap Raven Industries, but clearly I believe that this can go somewhere in the zone about $3 billion to $5 billion someday now why would that be true because as i said we've got 10 billion population in 2050 and we have less land here the only way to actually efficiently produce as much food as possible is to not seek simply for human labor or old practices traditional practices but to have actually farm and ai and drones and a lot of robots to help produce that need it's also not just those are robots. You also need to automate a lot of the functions. So go ahead and watch Microsoft Farm Beats if you aren't aware. There's a lot of interesting innovation happening within the farming industry. It's called agriculture technology, precision ag tech. So um, yeah, so this is an interesting, uh, and, and I shared to you guys last night about timeout rock, seeding and reforesting Somalia. I'm happy to say that PLRTF rose about 30% as well last night. So this is Raven Industries. Very clearly, this is a farming robot of the future with their DOT, D-O-T. And um, yes, I'm bullish here, $33, $34, even any drop at 26 doesn't matter to me. I want this in my portfolio and I intend to hold it on the long term.